Hello, welcome to my tarot corner. So, before I start, please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading, it is vibrational, it is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation, and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourself. So I'm using the Tarot of the Divine, and I'm going to look into the uh, hero women of the uh, monarchy, uh, the women this, that this week were uh, really showing a superb, uh, superb qualities. And these women are Camilla, uh, Sophie, and uh, Catherine. Now, uh, if we'll start with Camilla, so Camilla was a, a, apparently broke her a, a toe a, a few days before the queen died. A, we don't see this on her. She's walking with the queen wherever is needed. She's doing whatever she is needed, a, walking in shoes that probably are not very comfortable for someone who just broke a toe, and I know how painful broken bones are, uh, and you don't see even an expression of pain on her. She's been there for King Charles, uh, helping him, uh, being on his side, and King Charles does look like he hasn't slept for, I don't know, days. He, he, he seems really, really depressed, although he's king now, but he lost his mother, and uh, Camilla lost her mother-in-law, which uh, I understand that she was very close to. So let's see what card is uh, representing Camilla, and what I'm getting here is the king of coins in the reverse position. Now, the king of coins is a card of someone who is independent, someone who is a very good in a doing a things a business like is the general manager he's someone who is a good for a career independence is ambitious a, he's the manager a, the negative aspects of this card is that it is also a person that is, is stubborn uh, in a way conservative uh, and a workaholic. Uh, there are other negative aspects of this card, but I'm not looking at those right now because uh, I'm looking at the, at the uh, aspects that uh, helped Camilla uh, help King Charles. So uh, those aspects are her being an independent person, her being someone who is ambitious, someone who is stubborn, and despite the fact that she is suffering, she is stubborn, she's walking, she's doing whatever is needed. It does show, show some kind of social hardships. And people, uh, it took a long time for people to warm into Camilla. And a lot of people are still not uh, happy that Camilla is Queen Constant. So uh, it does show that she has some kind of a, a social hardships. And if we look at the, at the card in the upright position, we can see that it is a, 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 um, it is a turtle that is carrying almost the entire world on his back. So this is like someone who is carrying a big burden on top of his back and uh, someone who is slow in a way because the king of cup of Pent pentacles is not uh, like the king of wands who is the initiator and very quick the king of pentacles is someone who is thinking very hard but also someone who knows how to deal with things so but uh, it does show us that camilla is taking the burden of the world or the burden of helping prince uh, king charles uh, on her shoulders so i'm just 
taking it in the upright position because it's more uh, fitting and because you can see the artwork in a better way but I did speak about the negative aspects as well and the archetype card that I'm getting for Camilla is teacher and that is the ability to communicate knowledge experience skill or wisdom so uh, this is a person that she has a lot of wisdom she has a lot of experience a lot of skill and she is able to communicate it and we saw that in many of her uh, of her um, um, public appearances okay now Sophie Sophie was very very attached to the Queen uh, she was uh, the Queen was like a mother to her she really was uh, very much in a very good relationship with the Queen and despite all of that she's putting her own grief aside and she's there to be like a a barrier between uh, Megan and Catherine that cannot stand being one in the vicinity of the other. So we see Sophie riding in a car with uh, with Megan. We see her standing between Megan and uh, Catherine. So what is the card that actually represents her? And what I'm taking here is the Eight of Swords. Okay, so the Eight of Swords is a card of someone who is right now, and I'm talking only about right now. Right now, she is feeling shackled. She's feel, and that is an emotional shackle, an emotional blockage. Uh, right now, she feels that she's obligated to do things that she doesn't want to do. Uh, and she feels like she's surrounded with all of those swords because she has no other choice. She's doing what she is expected to do, but she is feeling, and as you can see here, this is a woman here that is uh, 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 with a, a disguise of a fawn on top of her so she feels very much alone isolated right now and she, she she's alone in her grief and she's expected to do things that uh, uh, she's not uh, that she doesn't want to do but she does it anyway because she's shackled she's shackled to the royal family she's shackled to her uh, duties and she's doing her duty because she has no other choice but right now she's suffering and she is in a really a a very bad state uh, mentally and uh, they need to start thinking about Sof Sophie and about uh, her own mental health because she is really suffering right now and the archetype card that I'm getting for Sophie is oh, I'm sorry this is uh, an extra card so let's take another card and what I'm getting here is the mediator. <laughs> this is so Sophie. A, a gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life. A respect for both sides of an argument. So this is Sophie. See, Sophie, she's a PR person. She is the mediator between Catherine and uh, Megan and she is doing the negotiations despite the fact that she is suffering right now that she has a really bad uh, she's a re in a really bad state right now she is doing the mediation she is being there uh, to uh, to be the uh, barrier between uh, Catherine and uh, and um, Megan. Okay, now Catherine. Catherine is the Princess of Wales. She herself has suffered also. She's, we see her, she, she her face show it all. She's 
uh, really sad and she's been like a, a real trooper she went to the walkabout with Megan despite the fact that she loathes her she went with her uh, William to uh, Sandringham she's uh, uh, supporting William you can see that uh, even by their small PDAs so Catherine really is acting like the princess that she is and the card that I'm getting for Catherine is the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords is like the spoiled kid in uh, many in many aspects. Uh, a person that uh, sometimes uh, ha doesn't like to do things and that uh, likes others to do things for him. But when he gets over that, he's a re he's a warrior. He is a stubborn warrior so this is what we can see about Catherine Catherine when she started her way uh, as William's girlfriend uh, people called her that uh, told her that told uh, said said about her that she's not working that she's not doing much that she's wait waity Katie so this is the way that she was before but she got over that and she became this warrior knight uh, the car, the stubborn knight that and this is the way that she doesn't misses miss the opportunities that she gets and and uh, as I tell you many times when a knight is getting over all of the problems that he's having he is get, uh, becoming the ace of swords so uh, she got over that and now she's a stubborn uh, woman and she's saying the last word in the everything that connects with between her and Megan she's not uh, waiting for others to make the, uh, to fight for her like she did with everything that connected to the who made who cry uh, she 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 was silent she didn't do anything now she's not now she's uh, going out to work to war and uh, she's showing her stubbornness she's showing that she can do things and she can, she cannot she can be active and not passive as people used to call her and the archetype card uh, that i'm getting for her is prince romantic charm and potential for power so uh, she's a princess what can i say okay so when we finish with all of the uh, uh, all of the um, positive women I will take one card for a uh, for Megan as well uh, just to see what kind of card is representing Megan as she is right now and the card that I'm getting right now for her is the eight of wands so she is feeling on the top of the world she feels that she uh, she had this amazing chance she, they arrived to the UK and uh, the Queen died and now she's in the right way, place at the right time because if she wasn't in the UK uh, at that time I don't think that she could would have made the the um, uh, the, the travel but as people uh, said uh, and I saw an article about that, uh, that she now is, someone said that they are afraid, that the royal family is afraid for Meghan because she was thrust back into the royal family. But she is on, she feels on the top of the world. And this is why there is a, a picture of her that I put on the, on the, on the thumbnail uh, where she is actually smiling under her nose. She's happy she doesn't care about the king she, the queen she doesn't care about anyone else she is happy because she got 
what she wanted and she wanted to get more photo opportunity with opportunities with the royal family she wanted to uh, get uh, to be in the center of everything and this is exactly what is happening uh, 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 Harry is getting to wear a, a military uniform all of these are things that are just showing that she is uh, amazing she feels amazing she is so happy that you cannot even imagine how happy she is and the archetype card that I'm getting for her is sorry. okay you know what I'm gonna take this one and this one is first of all uh, in the uh, upside down so we'll need to look at the shadow attribute but this is the addict and this is a person that is compromising integrity and honesty allows an addiction an addictive pattern to have authority over his inner spirit so she's an addict and because it came in the upside down we're looking at the shadow attributes and uh, what can i say uh, more fitting than this there is no uh, there there is no uh, way to 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 say so anyway i hope that you liked it and if you did please like subscribe hit the notification bell share the video leave a comment and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.